position tweaks and the spin ball? Well, we got a lot to get better at. You know, we've got a great staff. I really like how the coaches, but terminology and just the whole one gap, you know, instead of two gapping and getting up the field. Uh, we've got, you know, a lot of a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, you know, kids have been receptive, but at the same time, we all got to get better. Do you feel like you have the bodies to do the 4 3? Is there a lot of you know, th alignment you like? E well, I think right now it's too early to say. I mean, there's some length, which is good. Um, there's some athleticism, which is good, but, you know, uh, you play the game, you have pads on. And it's a physical game, and it's got to be physical up front. You know, you've got to hear football. And uh, I told him today I didn't hear football. The players say that they really feel like your, your loud voice has kind of created the intensity that they maybe need on the field. How have you seen them respond to you in the past two weeks? Well, the kids have been great. You know, we're trying to hold each other accountable for everything. And, you know, uh, really when we become what we want to become, it's their voice. It won't be mine. So uh, it's a transition and learning for everybody. Also a transition for you settling into that, that DC role. How is it going for you so far? That's pretty fun. I mean, we got a great staff and it's fun. I love defense and that's, uh, you know, where my heart's always been. So it's been good. Talking with the coaches, they also say you've made some necessary changes that, that this program needs, especially after last season. What changes were you trying to make in your first few? You know, I'm just being who I am as a coach, to be honest with you. You know, we expect us to get better every day uh, as coaches. If we're not more competitive than uh, the coaches at SC, then we're making a, uh, a mistake. So, you know, I think just the uh, work ethic the guys have shown and what we've done, uh, you know, there's a lot of positives, but we're still not kind of team that we need to be. You said you're going to go in without any preconceived notions on the players. Has a few players jumped out at all? You know, I, I think that would be unfair for me to say that right now until we get a little further along because, you know, just like everybody else, some people learn faster than others, and we've got to do a good job of uh, making sure we're not. Good question. <laughs> making sure we're not doing too uh, too much, you know, f for the players. Dom really didn't have a playbook. They did a lot of their stuff on huddle, and the guys are sort of comparing your playbook to like a Harry Potter book. Have you gotten much feedback from the guys about your, your playbook? Well, the number one, my skills and technology aren't very good so I need paper and I need to see things that way but uh, you know believe me there's a ton of defense we could run and put in but we've got to be smart enough as coaches not to over you know have so much in that from a mental standpoint they can't play the way we want them to play. How much <coughs> We've got to get a little bit more of our sub package in and a little bit more in the red zone. I wish I'd have had a little more for today in the red zone. But those are two things that I know we need to, you know, from a base front, four down linemen, three linebackers, four guys in the back end, we've we've got almost what we need to have. Coach Kenny Kamakule came here with a lot of expectations. He said the other day that he's really excited to play in your defense. I'm trying to lose. I see him sitting in your scheme. Well, I think, you know, from a physical standpoint and what he looks like, um, he should be a guy who can play a three or a five in there. Uh, the one thing right now that's held him back is, you know, he's been beat up a little bit. And like I've told all of them, if, you, if you're not out there, you can't be evaluated. If you're not evaluated, you can't play. So. Hopefully he'll get back on uh, Monday, and that will be because um, he needs to progress a lot. You guys have talked a lot about the energy you bring to the practice and an extensive intensity. What, what do you try and get out of the practice field, and what do you, what's your coaching style? Well, there's a lot of honesty, um, and you know, told him that you know if, uh, we're going we're going to coach you hard and. But we're going to be consistent every day in what we're doing. And, you know, personally, getting out on the field is my funnest time being with those kids every day. You know, Mrs. Hope doesn't like that, but that really is being with those guys and helping them 
grow in a lot of different ways, but you know, from the football aspect, you can't play the game if you don't have energy. I don't know how you can coach it. tempo every day and you know we're, we're pushing those guys to do that because once they start doing it then we'll be pretty good I, I just think you know we were a long way from being the kind of defense that we could even imagine did everywhere you, did you kind of compromise with Helfrich on getting some of the looks you want that are, that you know he's that? been great yeah. he really has uh, uh, it, it's really you know he, he knows that it's a whole culture mentality you know, of being an up the field defense and uh, aggressive, you know, and angry, you know, uh, uh, how we how we want to play. And so he understands that part. You know, once in a while he'll want me to uh, back it off. And, and that's only fair. We got three new quarterbacks, right? Young, we got three new offensive linemen. So we got to be smart in the give and take that way. How would you assess Jimmy Swain? And you know, I, I really don't want to talk about any of them right now because I don't think that's fair to the guys playing behind them. You know, I, I think Jimmy's a great kid. We'll see what kind of football player, and that's that's for all of them. Okay, so don't don't take that like I'm being a jerk. I'm not. I just it's too early because I can be a jerk. <laughs> but. Is it easier switching base front seven offenses when you have five starters from last year gone? Essentially, everyone's kind of new. Uh, it's a good question. I think there's some guys who just joined us who really didn't play two gap, who played one gap in high school, and you can see that a little bit. You know that you know they're they don't have to go change what they've kind of learned. I mean, they do, but far far as two gap schemes, yeah, there's a little bit of that. One more question. What have you liked about the Eugene area so far? <laughs> this is a great building. We got great fields. We got a great <laughs> staff, and that's about where I've been. So, <laughs> and the residence inn is great. That's a great <laughs> hotel. So that's really it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate right. it. Thanks, Coach.